Welcome, everybody, to a new experience, a new campaign. Let's not ruin the story here, because this is going to be groundbreaking. Uh, man was granted a soul, and with it, clarity. That might all already give away what game we're going to be playing this time around. Upon Earth was planted an irrevocable poison, a soul-devouring demon. Well, that's basically giving it away. Welcome, everybody. That will be in the title of the game description, so I really haven't thought this through. This is... Demon Souls. Now, I did say we weren't going to go straight onto another Souls game, straight off of coming Dark Souls 2. However, this one I thought holds a unique place amongst the Soul series in that it's not really part of the Soul series. Obviously, it is, but it's not one of the main games. It's not your Demon Souls. It, when you when you say Souls Born, I don't know how many people really consider Demon Souls as part of that because it's more or less unplayable these days. Unfortunately, if you've only got a PS, you need a PS3 to play it, and that's it. There's no, like, PS4. There's obviously no remasters like you have with Dark Souls, um, like you have with Dark Souls 1. Obviously, Dark Souls 2 has its remaster in the form of Scholar. Dark Souls 3, obviously still very playable. But this one is, is kind of the odd child, the weird one out. It's Yorm the Giant. So, I figured we'd play the weird one, the odd one out that is Demon Souls. It took some real witchcraft to get this running, especially as you may notice, it is running in 60 FPS, which means that it runs in a higher frame rate more, more than Bloodborne, which is fucking hilarious. So there's a really cool community patch for this that obviously bumps it up to the 60 FPS plus everything. Sorry, I'm, tr I'm trying to kind of half speak and half watch the intro cinematic here, which is clearly where all the game's budget went. Oh my god. It's fucking Monster Hunter. Hello. I guess you're one of the demons. I mean, that would be cool if we got to kill him in the end. Dark Souls doesn't really do any massive enemies to that scale. I guess I'm like, you, know, you got like your yorms and whatnot, but that's kind of it really. Anyway, here we are. Demon Souls. Couple of things of note then. This is 60 FPS. Uh, however, there will be some rendering strangeness as we dive into the game. Specifically, you might have noticed in the bottom left-hand corner, it says compiling shaders. Now, in areas we've never been to before, it will have to compile shaders as we move through them. So there might be a little bit of stutter um, during gameplay. Just bear with it. It, it does. It will clear up the longer we play because it's only going to be a certain amount of shaders in the game. Uh, and in theory, I've, I've offloaded all the graphics rendering to my graphics card as well. I've got a 10, uh, 2080 Super. So in theory, the stuttering should be fairly low if it does happen at all. So... Last time we played as Grapple Crap, we are now going to play this time around as Grapple Crap's great grandfather. Uh, I've already got a name. How do how do I do? Uh, how do we do capitals here? Right there we are. We're going to play as Grandpool Crap, the grandfather of Grapple Crap. You might be wondering how do they keep getting themselves into such strange scenarios? That's a great question. They're a cursed dynasty through and through. Grandpool space. Crap, but I'm also playing this on a DualShock 4, I should point out, um, which is the same con it's the same controller I used to play the last sort of 90% of Dark Souls 2, um, but there is going to be a little bit of input lag this time around because we are running it with, with an emulator. Um, Grand pull, crap. Also, I've only just woken up, so it's going to take me a while to actually get back into the whole uh, professional YouTuber routine. Right, there we go. Grand pull, crap. We are going to play as the most hideous man who's ever lived. Look at that fucking hairline. Um, gender, male, or we can play as, I assume, a quite scary looking lady as well. She's got like a real real oblivion face there going for her. We will play as male because we are grandpa crap, not grandma crap. Class, we've got soldier. Uh, seems like your fairly standard Dark Souls build there. All round, kind of, kind of something that's a bit more malleable. Maybe if you want to take it down the strength or dex route. We've got knight. Slightly higher strength, slightly lower dex there. Also has the fancy armor we saw in the intro cinematic. We've got Hunter. Very, very Bloodborne. We've got Priest. Not interested in Priest, I'll be honest with you. Magician. Oh, wow, okay. Um, so you've, still, you've got Vitality, Intelligence, Endurance, Strength, Dex, Magic, Faith, and Luck. I assume Intelligence affects the size of your mana bar. Dark Souls 3 style, and then obviously Magic and Faith is for scaling, miracles, sorceries, whatever. You got luck as well, you got soul level there too. It is very, it sounds weird to say, it's very Dark Souls. It's, it's probably not going to be that much different to every other Souls game. They're all very formulaic. We've got Wanderer, so that's higher strength, uh, sorry, higher dex, lower strength. And we've got Barbarian, high 
strength, low dex. I'll be honest, Barbarian is my speed. We got Thief, we got Temple Knight. Fucking hell, there's a lot of classes in this game. Compared to, like, two. Um, and compared to three. Let's go for Barbarian, then. High strength, decent endurance, good vitality, low armor. Doesn't matter. Let's do it. We can edit appearance while well, obviously going to do that. West. I love that West and East just makes his face slightly wider. Um, West, East, South, North. I guess we'll go West because Grapple Crap was a, a very Western looking fella. Um, young or old? Well, this is Grandpa Crap. So he's going to be up there a little bit. Bear in mind that Dark Souls 2 in theory takes place thousands of years after Dark Souls 1. Uh, and by extent, Dark Souls 3, because Dark Souls 3 follows straight up from Dark Souls 1. So this could, this is going to be well in the fucking past. Um, why is there a gender slider? That's concerning. Is that what they think women? That, that's what women looks like. That's gran that's grandma crap. And then this is grandpa crap all the way down here. Stern. Powerful. I like that. I, I stick with that. Hair, hairstyle. I, he's already got kind of an old man haircut going on there. Or at least a slightly older. I've been managing a bank for the past 40 years. And I'm uh, on the verge of a heart attack at any moment. Um, swept back. Now, this doesn't have to be old man grandpa crap. This could be young man grandpa crap. Like in his youth. His adventures before he settled down and had a family. Um, I, I will admit, this hairstyle immediately won me over. And you know what? I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and confirm. Or do I just hit the back button? There we are. Okay. Let's do it, team. You'll notice I'll, I'll point out the stutter if it happens, but it, it will almost happen um, quite a lot here. Until we, uh, if we do another playthrough of the game, that will be fine. Anyway, I should read this. Um, so, King, whatever his name is, something beginning with A. Northern Kingdom of Boletaria. Uh, the colors deep fog swept through the land. So, I should also point out this is unconnected to Dark Souls. Just as kind of Bloodborne is unconnected mostly to Dark Souls, Sekiro is unconnected to the Dark Souls world. But there are hints, there are things that carry over. It's the same studio, it's, it's all, you know, Miyazaki, so it's all going to have little uh, references. But that doesn't mean that it is all in the same universe. Bloke free from the flog and blah, blah, blah. To be fair, Dark Souls 2 barely connects up to Dark Souls 1, besides like the Doors and Manus and stuff. Uh, the Old King... A great beast below the Nexus. So I don't know what the Nexus is, because they mention that quite a lot in the lore for this game. I've, I've read a little bit of the lore of this game, but that's it. Um, Colors Fog has swept in Unleashing Terrible Demons. So demons in Dark Souls come from Manus. Um, they are humans whose humanity have gone wild, basically. Lose their soul, lose their minds. Oh, actually, look, it's, it's basically the same story. Mad Attack the Sane and Chaos Reigns. So it's, it's a very similar story, then. Valofax spoke of enticing the power of... Demon Souls. I mean, I know there's a lady talking in the background, but I can't hear her. I've also the emulator is really fucking loud. I've got this turned down on Windows Sound Mixer to three right now, so I I can't really hear what she's saying. Okay, mature Demon Soul is beyond human imagination. Cool. Legend spray quickly. I'm I'm gonna watch this just to try and get an idea of what the fuck is going on. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land, but none have returned. So very Dark Souls style. Bad things happening. People have been drawn to try and stop it. Beor of the Twing... Oh, are these the enemies? Yurt, the Silent Chief. Okay. Sage Urbane. The Furtive Pygmy. And Yorm the Giant. Uh, Sir... I didn't hear how she pronounced that. Sixen Astrea and her knight Garl Vinland. Sage Frake the Visionary. Okay, got it. I'm trying to place our accent. It's it's generic Euro Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. Some European. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm trying to place it, but I, I can't get it for the life of me. The map looks really cool. The actual setup for this. Obviously, the, the kingdoms in Dark Souls are not quite as grand as this uh, Boletaria. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. And there's your standard Dark Souls fire aesthetic. Has the land found a savior, or have the demons found a new slave? Great, great question, my friend. All right, here we go. I'm excited to see what this game's got in store for us. Would you like to play the Journey to the Nexus? I don't know what that is. I assume it means, do you want to do the tutorial? So we'll say yes. Yuri the Witch. Oh, right. Well, there's a direct reference to... Uh, well, there's a, a, a direct continuation. Obviously, Yuri of London in Dark Souls 3. That'd be kind of cool. Don't doubt they're the same character. Ooh, it's a bit stuttery, isn't it? I think it's just this intro cinematic, but we'll see how it goes. I played through the first few minutes in this area, which I realize is probably the... the, the which I think is the tutorial area, anyway. No, it didn't really get very far. Um, it worked fine before I tinkered with all the graphics settings. So if it looks like shit, I'll have to put it back, but... 
So you can sort of see the shade is the, the stutter there, but it doesn't really affect things too much. It's a little frustrating, but it's not that bad. Fortunately, this is the only way to get this working in 2020. All right, here we go. There he is, Grandpa Crap. So we are playing at 60 FPS. It doesn't look it, but we are. All right, let's do it then. Here we go. So it's got a very Dark Souls feel. Um, the only thing I realized is weird is the animation for walking around quite fast is very fucking strange. Uh, and this was happening before I fought with the graphics settings, so it's not like a rendering thing from what I can tell. Man, I'd love to play on an original... I've got a PS3 downstairs that we use as a glorified Blu-ray player. That's the only reason. It was my parents. So I was like, do you still use it? Can I have that for the Blu-ray? So we use it to literally just watch Lord of the Rings on Blu-ray. Um, but yeah, it plays very similar to, to Dark Souls. Um, all of them. Obviously, your circle is your roll. The amount of armor you've got on will affect your roll. And then you've got all your regular light attack, heavy attack. You can two-hand weapons with uh, triangle. You've got a block. And then you've got a parry, which I never intend on using. From what I can tell, the Crescent Moongrass in our backpack is Estus. But the Soul Remains attracts those hungry for souls. Fuck knows what that is. Oh, I wonder if that's like Alluring Skulls. Um, Crescent Moongrass is the... the from what I, I don't know if there is Estus in this. Obviously, I played... I basically played up to here. Just check that it didn't crash. Um, hold plus... Okay, right. So we know how to sprint. Uh, but basically... It doesn't look like there's Estus, and it looks like it has a healing system akin to Dark Souls 2 with the life gems. And that's what your Crescent Moon Grass is. And of course, maybe maybe referenced by Crescent Moon Shield in, in Dark Souls as well. Right, here we go. Oh, sorry, your Grass Crest Shield, I should say. Okay, he's got a triple attack. I shouldn't really use the shield. I'm never, I'm never going to use the shield. I'll probably just drop it straight for the thing there. So you guys have some hollows. See, a little bit of flicker in there, but that's okay. As... Pr as Kind of the best to be expected, given that we're running a game, like I said, that runs in a higher frame rate than Bloodborne does. So, we've already got a lot of witchcraft going on here to make it as smooth as we have. Hello? Who's, who's in there? There's a fella. I guess we'll be coming back through here. We seem to have um, a glowing penis in this game, uh, which is very helpful, because it means we don't have to worry about torches and shit. Like, you can obviously see it lights up as we move along here. Whoa, hello. Yeah, it plays identical to any other Dark Souls. So, maybe I should go from this to Dark Souls Remastered, because obviously I've never played Dark Souls 1. I've only watched other people play it. So, this seems like a good game to go into that game from. Actually, the shaders are a lot better now. Maybe it's because I've already kind of loaded this area in before. Alright, um, Crescent Moon Grass times 3. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be like Life Gems from Dark Souls 2. How long is it? How long is it to... Fuck, they're quite slow to eat. You probably can't do that middle in the boss fight. Um, Backstep and obviously rolls, yep. God, he's got a fucking roll to him, huh? Going from the Dark Souls 3 rolls... Uh, sorry, Dark Souls 2 rolls to this. My God. Roll. Backstabs? Oh, my God. Backstabs are super generous. Did you see that? Okay, this is this is interesting. This is really cool. So, I guess backstab meta is probably a pretty significant one. Now, this game does have the damage above head, which obviously you don't get with, with Dark Souls. I don't think you get it with Sekiro either, do you? Um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't get it with Bloodborne as well. That's kind of interesting. A bit more like, um, obviously Neo does that. And I'll be honest, when I tried playing Neo for the first time, I, I didn't really like that type of system. It felt more like, uh, I don't know, it, it just feels a lot cooler to not have that. I, I'm definitely a minimalist. Like, when I play Skyrim, for example, I disable all the fucking HUDs. Just absolutely everything disappears. I just prefer it. Alright, I guess, what is this? Touch the Arc Stone. Uh, walk to a new... So this is our bonfire. Okay, I think we've got everything over here. So Arkstones are bonfires. There's Yurt, the silent chief. Hello, my friend. You didn't look much like a demon. Maybe they weren't the demons. <laughs> I should have already been paying attention rather than talking. Okay, R2, strong attack. Got it. Hello. Oh, God, you can't roll through them. But I will admit the backstabs are fucking so generous in this game. Wow. Okay. Premium backstab meta. Hello, anyone in there? What have we got here? Parry. Uh, we can't parry because obviously we're not using a shield and I never intend on parrying. Will Demon Souls be the first Souls game I learn how to parry in? Because I barely even bother doing it in Sekiro. I'm seeing if that was enough for a backstab there. <laughs> oh god, I've also got hiccups so I'm trying to hold my breath. Sorry. Uh, commentary is going to suffer a little bit while I try and not hiccup every two seconds. Is that Artorius? Knight Artorius, is that you, friend? Same same energy, really. It's Artorius' younger brother. I was trying to think, what, what, what's, what's a good pun there? 
and all I could think of was Fartorius, which is just, it's just incredibly rude. We don't know that, man. Ooh, okay. I will admit, the rolls feel, um, it's the best way to describe it. Very sticky. Oh, God, the fact that we can do that, though, is mountain of blade all over again. The rolls feel very sticky. Um, what I mean by that is, rolling into things, you kind of get caught. You, you get caught on, like, terrain and, and enemies a lot more. Like, obviously, in Dark Souls, you get right to them, and if you roll slightly to their left, you'll you kind of whip around them a little bit. Change weapon, change item. Um, yeah, soul remains crescent moon grass. We keep our moon grass on the bar there. Half moon grass. What the fuck is half moon grass? Recover some HP. Small amount. Oh, crescent moon grass, half moon. I bet there'll be full moon grass as well then. Got it. Okay, very cool. So it is, it's just a life jam system. Okay, that's, that's completely fine. Um, ow! Oh god, there's a dude there. I didn't even see you. Master of stealth. These guys are humans then, are they? It's kind of hard to tell. Obviously, the first guys look like zombies or, or hollows or whatever the hell you want to call them. But they look they look a lot more human. Hello? Ooh, they've made dinner. Dinner for Grandpa Crap. Fight me if you dare. Yeah, those are definitely human. Very weird. All right. Why why are you guys trying to why are you guys trying to kill me? Why are you got to be like this? Oh fuck, is this going to be a boss fight? Uh, secret wall? Is there a jump button? Uh, well, your regular jump button isn't working. Uh, options. That's it, huh? <laughs> I was going to see if there was a way to... Greetings, brother. I was going to see if there was a way to jump, but apparently not. Oh, right. Tutorial judging by the top. Oh, wait. Examine corpse. Oh. Oh, I didn't even notice that he had an item on him. Right, my bad. I need to be a bit more attentive then. The item is a lot more... we got some half moon grass there, too. Um... The items are a bit more subtle than your other Souls games. Yeah, rolling past people is, is very tricky. Much more tricky than other Souls. Oh, it's nice to see stairs are... Nice to see they hadn't, they hadn't obviously nailed the stairs by this stage. To be fair, they didn't nail stairs by Dark Souls 3. Don't know why I expected it in this one. Um, right, well, let's put... Uh, is it already on the bar? Oh, it goes already on the bar. Right, cool. Well, let's, let's chomp this then. Now, that looks like a boss door if I've ever fucking seen it. Actually, ate that grass pretty fast. Um, hmm... Okay, let's do it. Oh, it's the Asylum Demon. Vanguard. Aren't demons supposed to be very difficult to kill? Wasn't that the whole point of the intro? Fucking hell, we don't do much damage to this fella, do we? Alright. What's he doing? Oh, I know what this is. It is the Asylum Demon. Ah, oh, okay. Oh my god, the music. Oh my god, the music is so like... I, the only way I can describe it is like... Old school anime. I'm talking like original Dragon Ball style music. Like brass stings. Background strings. Holy shit. It's so like old Japanese soundtrack, isn't it? <laughs> wow. I mean, friend of mine, you've got like in, in Dark Souls 3 with, with um, like say, Vault of the Boreal Valley, for example. Where they've got like a full blown orchestral choir. I think got this guy. It was obviously just two dudes from the office with their trumpets. Perp. He doesn't seem like a difficult boss, but I don't want to get... I don't want to get too, um... Too cocky. We don't know what he's got in store for us. That does do a little shockwave by the looks of it, so I should probably get a bit more distance. Not today, Asylum Demon. Whoa, okay. A bit more aggressive by the looks of it. Man, this is quite a tricky boss fight just by the virtue of him having a ridiculous amount of hit points. Ooh, fuck. Okay, okay, got me there. Got me there. Very good. Can I chomp? Twice? Oh, God. This is a bit jank. All right, get away, get away, get away. Never stop chomping, little fella. Never stop chomping. We're doing so well for the half half the fight, and then he just fucking wailed on me. Right, we gotta stay behind him. Behind him was a very safe tactic. It seems like then he can only hit us with his with his ass thwomp. He hits very very hard. Probably doesn't out that we're very very unarmored. All right, let's be careful. Okay, good roll. Get right up there. Yeah, as long as we stay behind him, I don't think he can actually. He doesn't seem to have any reverse attacks. And he hasn't got a big fucking tail, unlike Asylum Demon. <laughs> Alright. You know what? I think we might have this. 
I don't want to get too cocky because as we've seen, he can basically... He can, he can easily two hit us. What? I has... Oh, I thought I had disappeared then for a second. I think it was just... Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you fucking do that. I don't even know what hit us then. Right, chances are with this much health left, he can one hit us. But I feel like stopping to... Stopping to heal is probably going to be a certain death. Come on. Finish him. Finish the job. Yeah! Get fucking killed. Get fucking killed. The demon was destroyed. You shall obtain a demon soul and a power that is beyond human imagination. Uh, thank you? Is that it? Okay. So I guess that was the tutorial then. Right, cool. What does that mean? You shall obtain a demon soul. Are those soldiers' soul? The power beyond human imagination? Um, no idea. Grey demon soul. Oh, there it is. Alright, warp to a new area. Absolutely, get me out of here. Fuck knows what that was all about then. And there's Scurvia the Wanderer. Okay. Hello? <laughs> so what is the... I assume souls... Oh, fuck me. I assume souls we just crunch for... There might be weapon transposition, so I don't want to jump the... I don't want to jump the gun. Do I have to fight you now? Hello, friend. You're a big fella, aren't you? Oh, that's quite cool. Yeah, there you go. There's your full moon grass. Wow. Hello. I assume you're the final boss of the game, then. It's the old Iron King. Wow. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. God knows where the hell we are now. Uh, full moon grass right there. He's got a lot of healing items coming our way. Oh my god, do we actually have to fight him? They're giving us a lot of healing items, aren't they? Full moon grass 2. Okay, fucking hell. Trial by fire. Shard of hardstone. Do you think that's titanite, probably? Um, sharp stone? Okay, I guess not then. Renowned soldier stone. Maybe that's, um, like infusements instead. So maybe that's the equivalent of your, your fire gem, life gem, whatever else. Hello. You look friendly. Oh. He's definitely not. Oh. <laughs> you died. However, the Nexus traps you, your soul shall remain there forever. Oh, so it's a scripted death. Very good. Here we are. Oh, hello? Is that the Firelink Shrine Guardian again? You know when you're doing the level up and she whispers shit at you. Okay. Oh, the Firekeeper, that's the word for it. Oh, this is cool. Oh, there she is. Okay. I've got subtitles on, by the way. So apologies if this is a bit quiet. But apparently there's no subtitles for this section. Oh, there we are. Grand pool crap. Oh, it is the, uh... It's the mummified firekeeper. This is the Nexus. Hello. It holds together the northern land of Boletari. Okay, so this is Firelink Shrine then, yeah? Thou canst oh, I don't like the fact that he's Nexus. sitting like that. It's a bit... Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arc stones will connect thee to another node. This is absolutely Firelink, isn't it? You have died, and the Nexus has trapped your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. Oh, well, I guess it's fucking game over then, huh? Um, if by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. Nexial binding, one. Okay. Wow, this is cool. It's got a really nice aesthetic to it. Um, this is Violent Shrine. Uh, hello? Do, do I know you? Nope, apparently we can't interact with that thing. Um... Okay. Hello, my friend. Oh, God. It's not going to be another depressed guy, is it? Oh, my God. It absolutely is. <laughs> Lords of Cinder. <laughs> so there's obviously the guy in uh, Medulla who stands up on the thing. The, the, the Blue Moon Covenant, I think it is. And then it's this guy again. Okay. This is This actually, of all the games, strikes me a bit more like... Dark Souls 3. Now, hear me out on this one. 
Are these the things we have to bring the demon souls to? Arkstone of the Small King. Can you see what? Yeah, okay, they absolutely fucking are. There's five. Is it five or six? Oh, wait, that one's broken. So we've got five Arkstones, all of which connect to a particular boss in the middle of the shrine. This is dark. This is just Dark Souls 3. I mean, it, even aesthetically, the, the design of it, obviously, uh, the actual, the, the layout, I should say, rather than the aesthetic of it, is, is identical to Dark Souls 3. You got the stairs going up behind as well, and then these these would be your obviously the, the thrones of the Lords of Cinder. That's really cool. Yeah, so so it hasn't really the apple hasn't really fallen too far from the tree then in regards to every Dark Souls game. Hello, is that Gandhi? Are you here for my services? My name's Oh Baldwin. Spelt wrong. It's an ordinary blacksmith. Okay. Just bring me all the souls you can. Oh, is that? I'll give you weapons or forge ones you already have. Sounds like Charles Dance. With your souls, I can eke out a living. Oh no, except he's Scottish. <laughs> okay. Um upgrade weapon. We're, oh, so this is this is our Andre then. Cool. Um we can upgrade our club. Oh, we can repair our Oh my god, hang on. We can repair our club. So it's got some symbols there, and I have no idea what it means. There's like uh there's like obviously we've got the second symbol lit up, so I'll assume that means blunt damage, maybe? Um the fuck does that mean oh physical attack magic attack fire attack physical attack okay um, but then it's got a so that must be 75 damage 45 stamina usage do you think that's probably a fair assumption 109 must be the amount of souls that it's worth i guess oh no wait that's durability and then one is weight okay so that's durability and weight and then 10 oh that's the soul symbol is uh, is the sort of uh, dotted is it's already in the blind forest there um Type hammer? So I guess that means the weapon type, those first four boxes. So it's probably like sword, hammer, axe, bow, or some shit. Uh, cool, okay. We can buy items from him. He sells uh, crescent moongrass, fresh spice, grim... Ed's grindstone. Uh, recover white right hand weapon durability. Uh, if that's a permanent item, I think we should probably save up for that. Um, so we've got an item burden 5.3 out, 5 out of 100, right? Okay. Um, 2000, if that's like, uh, maybe that's like a repair kit. Maybe we're at the arc stones in brackets, bonfires, we can repair our weapons. Cover some of the users MP, Crescent Moongrass. Okay, got it. What else you got for me here, Andre? Dagger, short sword, battle axe. Oh, oh, you know what? That's probably the moveset they've got. So short sword is probably, uh, what do you think? Like thrust and... Uh, probably like slash and thrust, and then that's probably got like stab and thrust or something, and that one's got slash or uh, something along those lines. I have no idea. Um, that's got to be blunt damage then, maybe, the second one. I'm only guessing here. I have absolutely no fucking clue. Um, or pierce damage, probably more likely. So the axe, so the dagger can do like pierce and something else. Short sword does slash and pierce. Battle axe does slash. Those do pierce. I'm just, look, I'm just pontificating here. I have absolutely no fucking clue. Right, good. Okay, thank you. If you do meet him, yeah, we'll forget it. The stubborn old... Old what? Sorry? Ne'er do well. We'll just ignore you. Okay, cool. They all speak in kind of oldy English a little bit. Right, hello. Oh, sorry for breaking the shit there. Who are you? Stockpile Thomas. Another Scottish man. We came to a farmer's house here in the Nexus. Wife and daughter fell victims for the demons. Cool. So what's this guy then? Deposit items... Oh, so he's our stockpile guy. Uh, understandable the name like stockpile thomas <laughs> all right cool um got all sorts of gear there too very nice and then when the scourge came i abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a madman okay cool thank you sounds a little bit like um billy Connolly. all right what have we got down here is that sakura uh, like like cherry blossom no it's not it's it's messages okay with no stamina, your shield defense is ineffective. Stamina is consumed by attacking. Yeah, we know how that works. Blah, blah, blah. Burn with equipment. Weapon with both hands causes your strength to be enhanced by 50%. Yeah, absolutely. We kind of know this. These spells and miracles must first learn them. Okay. Limits the number of spells and miracles. So it works the same as equipped catalyst. So it works exactly identically to... And then a talisman as well to Dark Souls 3. Messages with select. Messages sent to all the worlds. Obviously, we're offline, so I'm playing an emulator. Pay attention to the tendency of the world's souls. If the tendency is closer to black, demons will pose more of a threat. If the tendency is closer to white, demons' powers are weakened. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, if you touch another warrior's bloodstain, you can 
see the manner in which he or she died, touch her own blood stain, um, you regain the souls lost upon death. Why, yes, I have played Dark Souls. Okay, got it. Right, cool. Uh, I can't have a notice we've got half half our health there. So are we, we, we are basically like hollowed right now. Um, I wonder if there's an equivalent of souls or embers or something like that, or humanity um, in this one. Was it in Dark Souls 2 again? What was it you crunch? Oh, that is humanity, isn't it? Same as Dark Souls 1. Um, what, what happened to the anime princess who brought us back to life? The cursed firekeeper. It was like mummified. Um... Oh god, this place is massive. Uh, it's all a load of dead ends. What if you could bring more NPCs in, like in, like in three? This is cool though. I'm actually quite impressed. I thought it wouldn't have aged as well as it actually has, but the combat feels very snappy. Um, much more, much, much more snappy than Dark Souls Two. The rolls are not as mechanically complex as Dark. So you get stuck if you try and roll into an enemy. They just stand there. Obviously, you can't roll around them or anything like that. Probably the hitboxes, I imagine, are going to suffer as a consequence. Probably way less precise, as we've seen with backstabs too. So just, so just empty, huh? Yeah, this is this looks cool though. I think this is going to be quite a fun little playthrough, especially as this is the only Souls game I can really go into entirely blind. Like Dark Souls One, I know enough to know what the bosses, who the bosses are, what they do. But obviously, I don't have the muscle memory because I've never played it before, and I don't know my way around maps very well. But this is all a complete mystery to me. Um, wait, was it Gandhi that sold weapons? Excuse me. Uh, what have you got for me here? Buy item. I, w I would like to buy that battle axe. It's 1,500. Oh, if it's 1,500, what's about in the grindstone is single use there now? Um, no interest, eh? No interest, eh? So these are our ways to teleport to particular zones. So there's probably five main zones to the game, I would probably ascertain, uh, with a big boss at the end of each. I kind of like the convenience of having just a central hub to go to all these places rather than having them all interlinked. Not that it makes too much of a difference, obviously. All right. Um, let's take a look at our equipment screens. We've got right hand. Oh, so so one-handed is a club. Two-handed is obviously the club, too. Uh, can we see our, like, uh, equip load or anything? We haven't got any armor at all, so that probably couldn't hurt. Uh, we've got ring. What was that Nexial binding we picked up? Was that just a thing to say, like, hey, you're bound to the Nexus now, loser? Um... Oh, lose souls and return to the Nexus. Right, it's uh, it's a dark sign. Got it. We got souls name. Unknown oh, soldier soul, renowned soldier soul. What does a demon soul do? Character information. Maybe, maybe it is just a bit crunchy. But I don't know if there is. Again, I don't want to crunch it because I don't know if there is a. Can we see like a, like like item info? Um, oh, there you are. Grants a holder a large number of souls. When used. Alternative, it can be made into spells, miracles, or weapons. Right, cool. Um, even if you leave this be, it will become a nourishment for demons, in which case, dot, dot, dot. Okay, thank you. Unless. Let's eat some souls, then. See if we can't buy ourselves something. We got three renowned soldiers' souls. Can I use all of them at once? No, we do have to manually crunch them one at a time. That's fine. I do that anyway, because it feels... It's just a lot more fun, isn't it? Crunch the souls that you've earned manually. Uh... Let's go ahead and get those. Let's buy that big fuck off battle axe then. How do we level up? Maybe there is no leveling up. Wait, no, that can't be right because it was a soul level. Um, brother, how do I level up? Any idea? Huh. Uh, do we speak to the. I assume that's what the the, the woman would do. The um, the mummified firekeeper. All right, I have absolutely no clue then. I guess we'll leave this one here for today. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, are excited, I should say, to follow along with the adventures of old man, grandpa crap. This is going to be a weird one. It's going to be a lot of figuring stuff out and seeing where we end up. Thank you all for watching. See you all hopefully tomorrow.